So at this point, let me just kind of share what the, the audience and you is this. The Safe and Sound Protocol, referred to as SSP, is basically filtered music that sends cues of safety to the nervous system, the brain, and the body. And I, I love the fact that uh, I was kind of excited. I love the era of 60s, the 70s, and 80s. Great music, great movies, right? And so as you listen to the music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, the frequency changes. And it changes uh, through the vocals. So you'll hear cover band music and great music. And you'll hear sometimes the distance of the music, sort of an echoey. And that system helps send the messages of safety that I am safe. Now, I'm being reductionistic. It's, it's of course, very complex. It goes through the middle ear to the, to the vagus nerve, and then the vagus nerve to the brain, and then the brain to the body in that sense. And so there's this bi-directional effect. And it is so powerful that it is one of the most important foundations of resetting the nervous system. Now, in my clinical work, I help people get off of opioids with a team of physicians and pharmacists. And that is the foundation. And the, what's really cool is the addictionologist, uh, the physicians who's trained in this, and also the therapist, have now come to realize that we do a lot of talk to try to convince someone that where they're going is not helpful. Now, they don't try to do this where you've got to get off the meds. They basically kind of do a lot of talk. And there's a lot of pushback, like, yes, I want to, but I've been on this for 20 years. Yes, mm -hmm. I want to, but I can't. You don't understand. I have depression and trauma. I have pain. And so what happens is this is I've stepped in and said, let's stop the talk and let's start the nervous system training. And so using the SSP seems to reduce the, not just the psychological defense, but changes the physiological states of the autonomic nervous system from sympathetic dorsal, which is what I call chronic pain, chronic pain is stuck in sympathetic stress and wanting to freeze and shut down. And mm -hmm. we're stuck in it. When I cannot fight or flee from the pain, I tend to be in a flare up or wanna hide and shut down, I feel depressed. And so we're caught in this oscillating movement in the autonomic nervous system between sympathetic and dorsal vagal, again, mm -hmm. from stress to shut down. And when we get people with opioids, trauma, and or chronic pain, all call three combination, combinations, is we listen to the SSB, it shifts them from that state of defense to a state of safety, which then allows their, what we would psychologists say, mindset to be more accessible. But I want to send this message to everyone, and this is something I had to discover myself in conversations with Porges, is that your physiological states determines your psychological states. And mm -hmm. therapists and addictionologists and addiction specialists often look at, let's, you know, we need to change your mindset. But if we change someone's breathing, you'll notice that they might be more accessible. So mm -hmm. that's something I learned, and, it, and it's bi-directional. If you get caught up and you don't realize you're getting drunk, in your thoughts, mm -hmm. drunk, in your resentment and victimhood, you seem to activate your physiology. So it's a bi-directional. But the message here with the Safe and Sound Protocol is really to shift that state of defenses so you're more accessible towards healing. And we mentioned this offline is that I've truly come to believe that it's all nearly impossible, not impossible, but nearly impossible for anyone to get into recovery, may that be addiction, trauma, and or chronic pain until you feel safe enough. This is Lynn Fraser with the Radical Recovery Summit airing January 13th to 22nd, 2023. Please go to radicalrecoverysummit.com to view the clips and the interviews.